I'm speaking with Hayo Mayer, who is here at the Tree of Life conference, who's written a book with the interesting title of The End of Judaism. Let me first ask you a, a bunch biographical. Where are you from? I'm, I was born in 1924 in Bielefeld, Germany, which was a, a middle, middle large uh, industrial town. And um, my father was a uh, very well, a highly successful lawyer there, and my parents both were uh, assimilated Germans. Both had been at the front. They have met each other in a, in a, in a front uh, uh, hospital because my mother was a, a, a voluntary nurse there, and my father, because he became wounded at the Eastern Front, uh, became the the. Uh, uh, I think the, the, the military commander of that hospital. So uh, they met and, and, and fell in love and, and was a very good marriage and, and I, made me a very, very nice home. And then in the 30s, Hitler takes over Germany. How does that affect your family? <laughs> <laughs> Look, that is asking for, for things you know quite well. You can read in thousands of books. So it was... Um, uh, it was a dream my parents certainly had destroyed because they they believed in in, in rational values and in, in, in freedom and democracy and they were very very convinced democrats and and so they and and uh, certainly no, not at all and none none of, of Jewish nationalism or so they were they were as, as that was called at the time um, uh, German citizens of, of Jewish belief, that's what, what it was. And, uh, but they had only one, one, uh, one loyalty that was towards, towards uh, Germany. Did they have any thought of leaving the country? Yeah, but look, my father was wounded in the war, his health was weak, and um, he, uh, and he was a lawyer, and, and as a lawyer, with a weak health. They had the idea, un unfortunately, well, uh, wrong idea, that they had time enough that their three sons could go outside. I was the youngest. And they would go to, one went to England, the other went to the States here. And uh, then when they had uh, settled down and, and built up an existence, they um, hoped that uh, they would support their parents. So that because my father uh, didn't want to go from door to door uh, selling ties, uh, you know. So what happened uh, during the war to them? Well, look, because my father was a war hero, he was the last in, in the city of Bielefeld where I think there were, I don't know, certainly more than 10 Jewish lawyers, but he was the last who was allowed, not as a lawyer, but as a, <clears throat> as a cons uh, juridical consultant to defend Jews. And he even, in, I think in '43, still won once from a Nazi. Because uh, if, well, if, if, if he could prove the Nazi was, uh, was really a, a, a fake, uh, the, the Germans would let, sometimes in any case, law prevail. And my father was, as I say, he was... Uh, uh, he, he had quite a quite an, uh, uh, the, he was quite highly estimated also in in his circles. I mean, uh, not that they were uh, not some some anti-Semites, but uh, he had quite a name. Did your parents survive the war? No, 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 no. no. My father, look, my, as I say, my father was wounded in the in the, on the Eastern Front in the in the first winter of fourteen fifteen, <coughs> and and his lungs were were. were Attacked and and so he had a weak health uh, uh, and and, and um, 
uh, suffered from TB and he, he died in 44, I think, from TB in Theresienstadt, in, in a camp. And you yourself were sent to Auschwitz? I, I was eventually, I mean, I was were, were first underground, was first underground in, in Holland and, and then I was sent to Auschwitz, yeah. But fortunately only in, in April or so, uh, 44. That's what I re uh, were you at the, at, the, at the lecture? That's what I refer to. I mean, when I came into Auschwitz, the, the, it was very clear that the, it couldn't last very long anymore. So, you have become a critical of Israel. Mm -hmm. um, when did you first get interested in the question of Israel? <laughs> uh, it's a good question. Look, uh, immediately after the war, I, I tended to be a Zionist. But when, um, definitely when, when Begin and Sharon uh, may, uh, uh, went to the first Lebanon war, I thought they are Nazis. I, called, I talked about them as, as, as well, okay, uh, as, as Adolf Begin and Heinrich Sharon. So I, I thought they were terrible. I thought they were, and, and then I took great distance. And then I ever more went into the history, I mean, uh, I eventually, my, I was pensioned from my job at Phillips and wrote the book, The End of Judaism, and uh, I, I, I jumped deep into the history of Zionism and history of Nazism and, and what have you. And so I, 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 uh, and I realized that uh, uh, Zionism is not a good doctrine. It's, it's, first of all, it's not effective. I, I, can, I can really, under oath, I can declare, my wife knows it's true, she was present. Since 1954, I think, I never ever went across a, a, an anti-Semitic incident that I was insulted or whatever, except on the airport of out of all places Tel Aviv. What happened there? Oh, I, 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 I was sitting there waiting and reading uh, probably the Times or whatever, any, in any case, uh, an English language paper. And it, one half of it was on the chair next to me, and then a chap approached me and said, uh, c c can I have that? I said, no, I'm, I'm, I'm just still reading it. And then he started, oh, this is typically Jewish. You want everything to have, and you, you don't give anything to anybody. You are a real dirty Jew. So, in Tel Aviv. Well, look, I don't know whether you are aware, uh, in the last few weeks or months, there have been several uh, 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 damages to, to graves and, and synagogues in, in Israel due to neo-Nazis, which are there. So <clears throat> it's, it's absolutely not a solution to if, there is, if the Jews are in danger, which is not true, if they, if they behave reasonably, which they don't. I mean, look... The, the, the bad point is that Israel calls itself a Jewish state. And you saw from my talk, I am offended by that. They are not a Jewish state, nothing to do with Judaism, well, hardly any. Not, not with my Judaism, no, okay. It has anything to do, yes, with Judaism, but not with my Judaism. It's a Zionist state and I'm an anti-Zionist. So there it is. How would you make the distinction? Uh, mm. between uh, That's Zionism right. and Judaism. Judaism, as I say, the, the Judaism I, I adhere, ad, adhere to is humanistic, universalistic, and uh, uh, not at all bound to any geographical area in the world. Uh, it's, it's a big contrast between, between Zionism, which is everything I hate, and um, uh, as I explained in my talk, and as I explained in my book, the, um, there is a, a, another part in the, in the Old Testament which is exactly what, what, what Zionism wants. But that's not my, the Zionism I was educated in. It's not the Zionism, that's not the Judaism I was educated in, not the Judaism I want, I adhere to. And uh, if that were Judaism, I would rather, rather be, uh, be a Christian. I mean, I want to have nothing to do with it. And I feel ashamed that they call themselves a Jewish state.
You've been to Israel several oh, times. Several times, but but the la the last two year, the last three years or so, I, I refuse to go to Israel. I only go to to Palestine. I I, I don't want to to give. A, a, I mean, unfortunately, obviously, you cannot reach Palestine without traveling through through Israel. But it's it's a, it's it's a shame for any penny I leave there. My last question has to do with Holland. You live in Holland. Yeah. And uh, what response do your opinions get uh, in Holland among the Jewish community, among the non-Jewish community? Oh, no, the, among the non-Jewish community, especially, I mean, in, in church circles, just like here. Uh, they, they, they listen very carefully and they get very positive, uh, positive uh, 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 reactions. Uh, the Jewish community doesn't want to know me and, or, or if they know me don't want to, uh, they, they, they refuse to discuss with me on television or on the radio or in public. So <clears throat> the other day I had a, indeed one, uh, one chap discussed with me in public and that was uh, since many, many, uh, several years was the first time again. Yeah. Well, thank you very much. Could you say the name of your book again? The End of Judaism. What, what do you mean by that, the end of oh. Judaism? <laughs> that, look, the Judaism I learned about was highly ethical, just and very near to Christian, Christianism in that the love of, of, of your fellow human being was central to the idea of Judaism. This is completely in contradistinction to the behavior of the Israeli uh, government and uh, so, and as most official Jewish organizations in the world stand behind Israel without any uttering of public criticism, Judaism will kill itself. Because if the Jews have nothing to offer to the world, they, they, they either will, be, will perish or, 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 or the, the Jews themselves will leave Judaism because it has nothing to offer. Thank you very much. You're welcome.